So yesterday, Mom Entertainment released the second trailer for Poppy Playtime Chapter 4, revealing our main antagonist for the game, Yarnaby. And before this video starts, I just want to say this is not a video breaking down the trailer. This is a video talking about what the mob employees said after the trailer came out, because some of the things they said and gave out to the fans are a lot more interesting than what we saw in the trailer, and it lets us know a lot more about this character that's going to be our main villain for Chapter 4. And there's also a bunch of other things I'm going to be going over in this video regarding Chapter 4, so you're going to want to watch until the end. So the first thing I want to talk about is how the Poppy Playtime Chapter 4 Steam page just got an update, and instead of Baba Chops being on the main poster, now it's Yarnaby front and center. So this 100% proves that Yarnaby is going to be the main villain for Chapter 4, because there was a couple people saying that maybe we haven't met the real monster yet, maybe the monster will be this leaked piano dinosaur, or maybe it's Doey the Doman, a character we haven't met yet. But this is the first time ever that Mob Entertainment has given a trailer for their game dedicated to an entire character. Usually it's just Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 trailer number 1, or Poppy Playtime Chapter 2 teaser trailer, but they really felt the need to put the word Yarnaby in the trailer itself, showing that this is 100% the main villain for Chapter 4, and it's not going to be anyone else. And something else that was accidentally revealed early is the cartoon version of Yarnaby, because obviously every single monster in the Playtime Co. Factory has a cartoon version, this is Huggy Wuggies, this is Catnaps, but we never did get to see Yarnaby's in the actual trailer, and usually we get the cartoon version before we see the real version. Like in the build-up for Chapter 3, we only got to see Catnap a couple days before the game came out, but it seems like they really want to hype up Yarnaby this time, so they revealed the cartoon version after. But Tyler in their Discord server said, For those looking for a Yarnaby plushie, you can sign up to be alerted when our store page goes live for it here. And he left a link in that message when if you go to that link, it takes you to a website, and that website said, get early access to the Yarnaby plush coming soon. Sign up below to be notified first. But if instead of paying attention to the text, you paid attention to the background, you would see a darkened version of the Yarnaby character we just met. But instead of how we saw him in the trailer, he's a cartoon version this time. And now we really can see how this character is supposed to be a lion with the yellow legs and yellow fur. But now if you try to go to that website, the background is just a black screen. So I'm sure that this actually was revealed on accident. Maybe someone at Mob meant to put a different photo on, not that one. Because it did look kind of odd how it was super dark. So I'm sure this was just a mistake, but now we get to see the cartoon version of the character early. So that's pretty cool. But anyways, what are these Discord messages that I've been talking about for the whole video? So far I've only shown one, but now I'm going to go over the rest. So the first one was left by the dev Toby, and it may not seem like anything at first, because it just says, I love that he's so silly and he's deadly AF. So I want to talk about how he said that Yarnaby is deadly AF, and I think everyone can agree with him when he says Yarnaby looks silly, because I'm pretty sure the first time everyone saw this character, they thought it just looked pretty weird and goofy at first. But then at the end of the trailer when he actually opened his mouth, it looked a lot more intimidating. But anyways, Toby was saying that Yarnaby is going to be a super deadly character. But from the trailer, we never really found out what his main form of attack is going to be. Maybe he'll only move in the dark in Chapter 4 because that's the only place we saw him in the trailer. And the points we saw him stalking us throughout it, he was in the dark. So maybe in the game he'll try to sneak up on us and that eye on the TV will alert us that he's right behind us. Or that he's just close to us in general. But anyways, next in the Discord server, a different dev named Amber said, How are y'all feeling about the new trailer? And someone responded in the Discord server and said, That was peak, but I want to know. What gender is Yarnaby? A boy or a girl? And Amber responded with yes. And if you're not sure what she's referencing when she says that, the creator of Five Nights at Freddy's, Scott Cawthon, was asked what gender one of his characters was, this character being Mangle, who appeared in FNAF 2, because people were confused whether or not it's a boy or a girl, and he just said that their gender is yes, and we still don't know what their actual gender is to this day, but I think we can assume that Yarnaby is a boy character, because the person that they made him from, Quinn, from these documents and files we found in the Chapter 4 ARG, we know that that's a little boy, so I'm sure that the monster they turned him into is also a boy, and now this next image is moving away from the Discord server, it's going on to Twitter, where the community manager at Poppy Playtime, Tyler, said, I can finally shout from the rooftops, Yarnaby is my favorite, he is a dumb little guy and I love him. So obviously this confirms that Yarnaby is a boy, but Tyler said that Yarnaby is his favorite and he's also dumb. So maybe Yarnaby isn't going to be a super smart character in the game, maybe he won't have a real goal, maybe his only goal is to just kill everything in sight. Like with Catnap, he was worshipping the prototype, Huggy Wuggy, he was programmed to go after anyone that intrudes the factory. And something else that was found in the notes of the ARG was that Yarnaby isn't the smartest, Harley Sawyer wished that Yarnaby had a greater mind. But now let's talk about all these Poppy Playtime ports that have been coming out recently because there's a lot. First of all, Poppy Playtime chapters 1, 2, and 3 are all on the Epic Games store. Epic Games is most famously known for making the game Fortnite, and Epic Games has their own store where you can buy different games, not just ones that are made by Epic. And Poppy Playtime chapters 1, 2, and 3 are all on there, but right now you're only able to wishlist them, but they'll actually be available to play on Halloween. And when I first brought up Epic Games, the first thing I talked about was how it made Fortnite, and that is pretty much what Epic Games is known for. 
But if you're thinking that now because Poppy Playtime is on the Epic Game Store, they might get a Fortnite collab. I don't think that's really how it works because some other games that are on the Epic Game Store are Garden of Ban Ban, Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach, and ones that have been on the store for years and have never gotten a Fortnite collab. So just because now Poppy Playtime is being sold on the Epic Game Store, I doubt they will end up having a collab. And speaking of Halloween, the next port I'm going to be going over today is how Poppy Playtime Chapters 2 and 3 are both coming to Nintendo Switch on Halloween. Right now you can pre-order them, but you're only able to play them on the 31st of October. And just to add another thing onto this Halloween date that Mom Entertainment loves, Poppy Playtime Chapter 2 is also getting an update on that day, most likely improved graphics and bug fixes. But now I'm actually going to talk about a different Poppy Playtime YouTuber named Nyes, who got to interview the community manager of Poppy Playtime, Tyler. And in this interview they talked about Chapter 4, Project Playtime, the backlash on the Nightmare Critters, and a lot more. So like I said, a Poppy Playtime YouTuber that goes by the name Nized interviewed the community manager at Poppy Playtime, Tyler. But instead of me sitting here explaining what they were talking about in the interview, I'm going to go ahead and play a clip from one of the most interesting points in the entire thing. Next question, can we expect Chapter 4 being the scariest chapter yet of the Poppy series? Oh yeah, for sure. Like, I think it's already been said multiple times in interviews, but it, it's going to be the darkest. But yeah, for sure going to be the scariest, the darkest. So one of the main things we've heard about from Chapter 4 so far is how it's going to be the darkest game in the series. When the Mom Entertainment CEO got interviewed by Sheep Rampage, that was one of the things he emphasized about the game. And when they say darker, I doubt they mean like the environments are going to be a lot darker, which that probably is true as well. But what they most likely mean is that the story for Chapter 4 is going to be super dark, and most likely a lot more disturbing than Chapter 3 was. Because the Hour of Joy in Chapter 3 was the most dark thing we've gotten in the series so far. Next to that being Playtime Co. turning kids and people into Playtime Co. mascots. But from what we saw from the new Chapter 4 trailer today, and what we've seen of Yarnaby so far, I'm sure that they're going to dive really deep into this character's backstory and what he was as a child, and how Playtime Co. pretty much abused him and mistreated him in every way possible. But anyways, in this next clip, we get an update on Project Playtime and when that could get updates in the future, and what Mob Entertainment themselves thinks of Project Playtime and the state it's in. Would you say that Mob has completely forgotten about Project Playtime? I wouldn't say completely forgotten. Um, obviously, the game is still up, and you know there's still money being invested in that. Anything that the company invests money on, it's on their radar. Like that's how, that's that's how you know it's not forgotten about Project Playtime as a priority. I don't know. I don't know if I could honestly answer that yes or no. So you're probably wondering why he asked this question because obviously Mob Entertainment didn't forget about their own game. But from Tyler's answer, I think what we can get is that Mob Entertainment doesn't really have Project Playtime as a priority right now. Most likely their biggest priority is Chapter 4. And the reason he asked if Mob Entertainment forgot about it is because the last time Project Playtime got an update was over one year ago. It was in October of 2023 and now we're in October of 2024 and the game has received no updates since then. Obviously, that's probably when they decided to go full steam ahead on Chapter 3 and 4, but I think after Chapter 4 comes out, they'll probably take a break off the main series and focus on Project Playtime for a little. But obviously, Mob Entertainment isn't stupid. They know that there's Project Playtime fans and Poppy Playtime fans. But now, in this next clip, we get Tyler's thoughts on the backlash on the Nightmare Critters, people saying they're just copying and pasting from Chapter 3. But anyways, here's what he had to say. Next question... How do you feel about the community having a mixed reaction about the Nightmare Critters? Do you think the community has to not judge a book by its cover? I was very public with my opinion on this on my Twitter account. <laughs> no, um, I think, you know, it, I understood um, where everyone was coming from, especially with the disappointment in, in specifically with Baba Chops and um, how she was kind of put as a staple face on, you know, our Steam page and stuff like that. And there was a lot of assumptions going around that Baba Chops is the main antagonist of Chapter 4. So those are all the clips from the podcast that I'm going to play today. If you want to watch the full thing, the link's in the description. And I just want to give a big thanks to Nyes for giving me permission to use some of his clips. Go watch the full podcast if you haven't already. It's super interesting and they talk about a lot more stuff that I didn't bring up in this video. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up everything I had to talk about. I really hope you guys do go on to enjoy. And subscribe if you're excited for Poppy Playtime Chapter 4. Goodbye.